I'm going to Bond University to accept the offer to study graduate certificate of TEFL. So I'm going there now and there's congestion on the road and we might not make it in time, but that's the drama that's involved in making this thing happen. It's all part of the story. So I hope you follow us on this story and see what happens to us. You know, join us on our journey of getting to Japan. certificate of TEFL from Bond University. I've studied a Bachelor of Communications through Griffith University and have studied a graduate certificate of communications at Griffith University bar one subject. I have one unit left on that which I was studying this year and, and signed up for. I was also finishing off a graduate certificate of marketing. I had three units left on that to complete which I was going to study this year, I was planning to, but I found out when I went to hand in an assignment, I was doing that subject and I probably would have had to repeat it because I've had issues with my computer not working. And then I finally discovered a solution to that problem by buying a multi-use keyboard to use with my phone so I don't have to use my computer and then just download the Word app. So that way I can complete my university studies that was fine but in the past I've missed a couple of units and had to repeat them and handed assignments in late because of this computer issue. Solved that and in the middle of this second assignment I was doing, I only had two assignments, I missed the first assignment so I would have had to repeat it probably. I was trying, I was trying to get it done so I was about to hand in the second assignment then I couldn't access my, my course content. I was wondering what the hell's going on. The, the, professor I've realized he's not like involved in the ad admin for the uni right so I knew I couldn't really talk to him about it I can only talk to him about like the content to do with the course so there's no one really that spoke to me about what had happened so when I did some digging the whole website for Griffith University is really non-intuitive and you can't find anything anywhere you have to really do some digging to find things so my course content, really, I couldn't access that at all. And I thought it had to do with the sign-in process to sign in onto the site. And that's through this other app that you have to download. And I was having issues with that. So I thought it was that to actually sign in. It was my identity to get in. I thought I had something to do with that. But it wasn't. When I did some digging, I found out it said dismissed next to my name. And then I got an email from... Open University Australia saying I had successfully unregistered for one of my subjects, the communications uh, unit I was finishing, when I hadn't even unregistered. So I don't know what had happened, but it's got to do with this being dismissed. Did some research, found out that our unis, especially ones in the US, they dismiss students if their GPA is a bit low, and that would be due to me skipping units, having to redo them again, got my GPA low. I found out that you can re-register for courses, but you have to wait a semester in order to fix it up. But I was really annoyed at the lack of communication about what had happened. I mean, even if I was in the wrong with my... This guy didn't even indicate um, in front of me. If I was in the wrong with not finishing my units on time, my, my assignments, not completing the units, getting a low GPA, it doesn't matter. And I am responsible for my own learning. But at the end of the day, I've done a Bachelor of Communications with them. I can recognise that they have very poor business communication and they should be trying to help you as much as possible. It's in order to succeed. It's in their best interest that you succeed by using their education. It makes them look good and you, they're getting money. It's really appalling to me that they, of their lack of communication. It really actually pissed me off. left confused and stressing out about it until I figure out what had happened. I'm no longer with Griffith. I applied with a different university, Bond, and I use this as an opportunity to move forward in doing what my daughter and I have always wanted to do for a long time, 
and that's to go to Japan. One way to make that happen is to study TEFL and get a job over there as a language teacher, teaching them English over in the schools in Japan. So that's one way to make that happen. It's a very easy way to get a job over in Japan for a, a gauge and like a non-Japanese person. So my daughter and I have always wanted to go and she is very much into anime and manga and wants to be a manga and anime artist and she's going to thrive over there, become inspired and um, learn how to do manga and, and anime. She only wants to go to Japanese high school, she doesn't want to go to an Australian high school and that's fair enough. I'm not happy with the, edu the Queensland education system. This is an opportunity for us to make what we want to ha happen because we don't live forever so we may as well do what we want to do and try to make what we want happen. So one way to do that is to do this TFL certificate. That's what this, the direction of this YouTube channel is taking. That's what we're doing with our lives. So follow us on our journey and that's therefore the, the journey of the YouTube channel because it's, it's following what we're doing. I hope you join us by subscribing. And keep watching further videos. I'm Miranda Wright, holding the phone is Starla Blank, my daughter. Watch us on our journey and subscribe because that will assist getting this video out to more people. Thank you. There's Bond University in the background. It's like 5.25. I'm not sure if we're still going to be open, the actual admin, but I'm going to go check it out. And if not, I'll just come back tomorrow. It's fine. At least I know where it is and I got to see how beautiful this uni is. to the university because there was a, a traffic jam and it was late in the afternoon when we last came on a Friday and today's Monday so we came early the road was good got here and went to the admissions building at Bonn University <music>
only scary thing about this university I've found out so far are the two magpies that hang out out the front but they're cool I'm just afraid of magpies um, I called my daughter over to come shoo them away but they're bond university magpies they don't move for anyone so <laughs> cool thing is the university has a university ducks and a university water fountain so I can start acting like a pretentious university student because my uni has a water fountain and it has ducks it has uni ducks so ducks with glasses ducks with glasses <laughs> <laughs> so i'm in a good uni <laughs> <laughs> paperwork the fee help that's the application for the payment for the course to the government so it went through as my last name and didn't my first name wasn't put through for some reasons so the lady at the mis uh, admissions desk just rung up about it and fixed it up and hopefully that'll go through promptly and then that will be the end of my formal acceptance to the offer to um, go to Bond University so I can start studying uh, TESOL and that will allow us my daughter and I to go to Japan and she can go to a secondary school in Japan and so that will allow me to teach Japanese kids English so that will allow us to stay in Japan the bond is university is absolutely gorgeous <laughs> and comments doesn't really affect anything really what's more important is watch time and subscribers and hopefully you'll subscribe so that will get the videos out to more people and make sure when you subscribe to hit that bell notification button so that it notifies you when I create more videos so then you know when to watch them so you can follow our journey and don't miss out on anything <music> I'm going to keep the content interesting so that you do watch right the true to the end. So now we're on our way back home. dance revolution game something that she likes doing that's physical exercise so that's what she chooses to do for like PE you know she's really good at it
tips and tricks from YouTube videos and I just googled tips for how to win on the claw machine and, I, and followed those tips and I won uh, after three turns. And it's a really good plushie and it was the best plushie in, in time zone and each, each swipe of the card was about $2, about $6 and I got a really good plushie which I thought was really cool. And Stella loves it, it's Peter Rabbit and it's so fluffy, nice. And it's a current thing because Peter Rabbit 2 was out around Easter time. That was a good plushie to win. And it's cute. And Stella, she's got an old rabbit builder bear that she's had for since she was little called Sarah. And we were just talking about getting a playmate for Sarah, like a sister or a cousin or a friend or a foster rabbit. <laughs> it all I manifested it hap actually happening. We actually got it. <laughs> latte and Stella got a caramel frappuccino one of the girls from the top three from Australian Idol was in there and I just let her go ahead of us because we didn't know she was behind us and we didn't know what we wanted yet so I just sort of said you can hop in front of us and that's the only thing I said to her but I knew who she was like I thought hey hang on yeah I recognize her straight away but I didn't sort of act like I knew who she was. I wanted to respect her privacy, to treat her like a normal person. I didn't want to be like, hey, I know you. She probably gets that a lot. Wouldn't it be cool if I actually shouted her whatever drink she wanted and then said, hey, do you want to say hi for, for my vlog on YouTube? I wonder if she would have minded. Um, she's really nice, so I'm sure she wouldn't have. I, I've thought of that later and then I thought, should I or shouldn't I have done that? It would have been really cool. She probably would have. It might not have been a big deal and I think I have to take advantage of opportunities a bit more especially when you're vlogging and life's short so make the most of it she might not have minded and thought it was cool and a bit fun just to say hi and ask her maybe ask her a question she, does she live at the Gold Coast at Surf's Paradise is she on holidays just talk to her like a normal person I think we're a bit shy when it comes to things like that sometimes if I was in their position would I want Lots of people, lots of strangers coming up to me and saying hi and chatting to me and wanting photos and wanting videos. How would I feel in that situation? And I don't really know, to be honest. It'd be fun, it'd be like nice, but after a while I might get sick of it. And I might not. It might be cool if people are polite and nice and genuine and authentic about it. Like if I had have been just authentic, hi, I think you're dope. Give her a compliment. I usually give people compliments when I think they're great. I think your music is really unique and I want to thank you for that. And I buy you a drink. And she might have been, yeah, sure. It's not such a big deal. You know, she can't say yes or no. I, maybe next time, if that's her regular place that she goes to, instead of letting opportunities to meet cool people go by, I thought I'd take the opportunity and actually make it happen. If it can happen again. I want to put it out there. Could I just meet you really briefly and just say hi to my camera if I buy you a drink? Would that be cool? Hopefully you keep watching our story, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can continue to watch these vlogs. Um, they're going to get better with each one. If you want to follow our journey to Japan from Australia and find out what happens to myself and my daughter, subscribe. Thank you for joining me on Miranda Wright. I shall see you in the next video. Bye.